Hello everybody, welcome back to Forest River. We're back, we are, as you can see, in February 3rd. Uh, we're right at the end of February here. And uh, you can see, up in the top right there, we have a little over a million bucks. Um, last video that uh, you guys, that went up before this one, I forgot to uh, turn the bin off. Whoops. Uh, we sold some corn. Well, I since then, a little bit here and there, uh, when I've had time, I have finished selling all of the grain. And uh, that is the amount of money that we are left with. Now, that being said... It is uh, time for some changes here on the farm. So, that being said, let's jump right into getting some of that stuff done. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up the uh, heated building here. And we're going to get the snowblower taken off of this tractor which also needs fuel, but we will get to that. We also need to give it a quick wash. We're going to pull it out of the way because we need to get the skid steer out because that also needs a wash uh, from moving snow this winter. So let's get this guy out. quick wash these up so we are going to be making changes both to the yard and the equipment lineup so we're gonna talk about we're gonna we're gonna pull some machinery out move some stuff around here and then we're going to take a walk around the yard and uh, talk about some plans for what we're going to do and uh, what we're going to change around the farm. So let's grab this guy. So this, this bucket we're going to set, we're going to set over here by the Quonset for now because this bucket we're going to keep. But uh, I think I think this skid steer is going to leave us. So the other thing that needs to come out is the pellet forks because they are for this. Actually, I guess we could have brought that bucket back in here. Let's let's do that. We're gonna get that bucket back in this building because we are gonna keep the heated shop here. This one. Um, it might become more of a garage than anything uh, you know maybe later down the road but for now we are going to keep it so this skid steer is going to leave us so let's grab the pallet forks here And I think, let's see here, let's think about this. So the, we're just gonna put put it right out here in the field. The equipment that's gonna leave. We're just gonna move it right out here. It'll be here in the open, ready to rock and roll. Or even right like this, right along the edge. That'll work. Okay, so there is that. Um, both of these headers are going to leave and the trailers, uh, but we will just, those will just leave right there for now. Alright, let's get this guy put in. Uh, we're going to 
Put this back in the corner. Get it as close to the wall as we can. Perfect. Get everything unhooked. Oops. There we go. Okay. We will get fuel in this tractor eventually. Okay, next thing that's going to leave is going to be this uh, larger auger here. This we are going to trade in. And this we're just going to pull up along the uh, Quonset here. Just so it's kind of still out of the way. This tractor we are going to keep. Um, this one's not going to leave because this is perfect for like auger. Works great on the snowblower. All of that. So we are going to keep this guy. Um, we're going to keep that roller for this year yet. We're going to keep these two trailers for this year. Uh, let's see here. So the sprayer is going to go as well as the drill, the planter, and that combine back there. So, and we're also going to trade in this spreader for a little bit larger one. So this can come out as well. I don't need to hook nothing up on it. Now it is full, so we do need to come up here and unload. There we go. Drop that there. And then we'll pull the planter out. empty which is good it's what we want Let's grab the drill. Now this tractor is, let's see, 1086. This tractor is going to stay, but we are gonna take it into town to uh, the machine shop. And this has seed and fertilizer in it. Well, I don't know if we're going to do canola again after this year, so the canola isn't going to do us any good, because uh, we are running the advanced seeds add-on mod now, so um, we could only... Ooh. Excuse me. We can only plant whatever seed type we put in. 
Um, but anyway, as I was saying, this tractor is going to go to the machine shop and it's going to get a loader put on it. Um, they're going to mount up some brackets, things like that, and uh, get us a loader put on it because we are going to we are going to get equipment and things like that set up and ready because come the end of the year uh, the plan is by the end of the year we are going to be running uh, beef cattle so this tractor right here is probably going to be one of our main um, haying tractors so And then, like, our front wheel assist John Deere there, that'll be, you know, a good feeding tractor, things of that sort. Okay, so there are all of those items. And we are also going to trade off lawnmowers. Uh, we'll get that stuff moved here. And we may potentially trade pickups as well. Well, I think we might leave, we might keep that one around. We'll see. We'll see how things go uh, once some of these other plans are set in place. Um, so we are going to be expanding this yard a little bit. Um, eventually, I just I still want to eventually build my own yard. Um, it is nice, you know, here having grandpas and everything, but eventually I would like our, our own place. Um, and I would love to buy a plot of land and just start building. Um, you know, build our own house, our own buildings, things of that sort. Um, start fresh, uh, so to speak. But I think that's still a little while off. Uh, I mean, obviously, Grandpa could care less of us being here. That's not an issue or anything like that. It's just, you know... This was what Grandpa started, and I'd like to branch off and get something of my own uh, started, you know. So, at some point down the road in the future, we will. So, now, let's talk yard. So, we're going to keep the Quonset that's here. We're going to keep the machine shed. These bins, all three of these, we're going to have moved. Um, we're going to kind of rearrange some of this. So, my plan is to cut back these trees a little bit. And uh, I want to put, I want to start putting bins along here. So we're going to have those three moved, and then I think we're going to put up, we're probably going to put up two more of these uh, style bins, and then we're going to look into it. I'm not sure if it'll happen or not, but I want to look into putting up um, three hopper bins as well. So, um, and then this heated building... So what we're going to do is we're going to store the snowblower in here. And then uh, we've got our oil here. I want to, what I want to do is I want to get some shelving in here in the back. Uh, we may not even do shelving. We'll see. But I want to use this building for storing our seed, our chemical, fertilizer, lime, all of it. Uh, I want to store, you know, like these here bags of lime. I want to store them in this building. 
Uh, and I want to keep them in here where it's where we can keep it temperature controlled. Uh, things of that sort. And then um, we're gonna have some trees brought in. We're gonna we're gonna clean this yard up some. I mean, we got random trees, so it's gonna cost us some money, but we're gonna get it done. Uh, we're gonna tear down this old building here. And with the free area that we're going to have in the back, back here, uh, I want to put a bigger heated building uh, that we can use for storage, um, working on equipment, things of that sort. And then this field back here, uh, I want to... We're going to put this whole thing into grass back here. And then we're going to put up a barn and little corral back here. Um, for our beef cattle. And then right here where our auger is set up. So I'm going to kind of put gravel... I'm thinking, anyways, of putting gravel down um, or something. What I'd like to do is I'd like to come down to kind of where this field comes to the east, you know, where right here where it runs east-west. And I want to cut this off and go straight west. And then everything up here is where we're going to put a building for our haying equipment, a building for storing our bales and then our barn and little lot for the cattle and then beans we have an opening right here we can uh, just lay some gravel or something get a path back here and we can also have a path right here kind of branch off of this and come over into it as well um, and then the rest of this will go into grass along with after harvesting it of course uh, this field and this field here both will also go into grass so we might only get one cutting off of those um, or we'll keep those for cropland for this year and then maybe take like I don't know, a different, you know, pick up a different field and put that into hay ground or however we do it. Um, I do want to pick up some more land this year as well. So there is also going to be that. But, uh, yeah, so um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to... Uh, kind of hang out uh, the dealership is coming up with some semis some pickups uh, stuff like that they're coming up to take all this stuff down for us and uh, then we're gonna go down and do some shopping uh, we are probably gonna lease a lot of the machinery through their uh, leasing program like we have with this Westfield Auger, our two trucks and trailers here. These are both on their lease program. Um, so I think we're just going to kind of keep going through that, you know, leasing program or financing program, I guess. Um, because we do want to make sure that we keep some money. I mean, we do. We are going to have the costs of the buildings, the gravel, the concrete, all of that. Plus, we have our inputs to think of for this spring. Our seed, fertilizer, all of that. So, um, I mean, we got a lot of things to consider into the matter of spending. So we will uh, we will kind of focus on that as well. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna try and make some things happen this year. Uh, I mean, we had a very profitable year last year, 
and I want to do things to increase profit moving forward. Yes, it's going to take some money to get there, but we will get there. So, yeah, um, that's going to do it for this video. Um, when we come back, we're going to be ready for some spring work. And hopefully our buildings will be up. And we're going to have equipment staying in this yard. And we're going to be ready to move machinery into new places and kick off some spring work. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.